It's good seeing you, man. So, okay, I just want to go back, right? So I remember when we first met uh, in that meeting in Fox, and you know, one of the things that struck me was just, you know, your humility. Uh, and just like, I'm like, wait, is this, is that, how, has that always been, you know, your approach, or is that just natural? It's always been my approach. I had been blessed with great parents, obviously, that kind of set me on my mm -hmm. way early. We could never get too big headed about anything. <laughs> right. um, I grew up, obviously, my dad played professional basketball for 16 years, so I was around kind of the life that I live now and, and the industry that, that he was in. So I learned from, from him how he handled you know, fan interaction, how he handled, was a professional in every way, mm -hmm. shape, or form of, of how he carried himself, and that rubbed off on me and my, my siblings right. uh, well. And I try not to stray too far from that in terms of uh, no matter what happens in life, I try to stay as even keel as possible, knowing uh, everything is a blessing. Everything that uh, mm -hmm. I do, there's, there's no accidents in life. But I'm, I'm, I'm you know, in this position because uh, you know, I've been blessed with, with talents and the perspective that uh, yeah. I'd be able to handle all of this, this, you know, the success and the failure. So right. They, right, they set me on my way for sure. Got it, got it, got it. I was just, I mean, clearly they did because you know, having known of you but not knowing you when we had that meeting, it was like, wow you know, bringing that humility when you're the most, one of the most recognizable people in the world, but you don't wear that, you know, and I've been in Hollywood for 20 years. So most people who have done a fraction of what you do wear that. So mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty amazing. Well, when did you get the idea of like, I want to move into entertainment. I want to start making films. What, what, what transpired and what gave you that idea to say, you know what, now's the time to do it. I mean, the genesis of pretty much anything I do is to try to inspire and mm -hmm. find different ways to, to reach the masses, to use a platform I, that I have to kind of you know, share the, the core values of who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. And so um, when the idea and the kind of uh, approach that we wanted to have in terms of uh, the media space and getting mm -hmm. into film, uh, we wanted to do it the right way, stay true and authentic to who I am and what I stand for and find projects that I, I really believed in and, get, and could get behind, yeah. uh, not just as you know, a face or, or just because, but there's a reason and a, and a mission and a perspective behind it. And so yeah. obviously the only good is the people that you put around you. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a great team that, that uh, has kind of helped me yes, you you know, get that, get you that far. You the best teams going. For I, sure. I, I know you know them, that's but I'm just right. you It know. happens, that's kind of how I approach on, on and off the court. Yeah, in terms yeah, of yeah. Obviously I have, want to bring something to the table and know, from a leadership perspective, but again, you know, mm -hmm. as good as the people are, are around you, you yeah. be able to grow together and, and go through different experiences. And obviously um, you fall in that, in that basket as well. So, right um, you know, it's all about inspiring. And yeah. hopefully anything that I touch that has, you know, my name on it or something attached to it that uh, they, they know what it stands for. Yeah, I mean, literally, I think that's one of the reasons why we're aligned because that's why I'm in entertainment, you know, because I do believe entertainment is one of the most powerful mediums in the world. And if we can use it for good, mm -hmm. the change that can happen in the world, uh, you know, is just uh, exponential. So, so going back, so I sent you the script, mm -hmm. right? So what happened when you cracked it open and you started reading it? What was your experience reading this script? To be honest with you, this is probably one of the first scripts I've read in its entirety in terms is that of like, right? you kind of, some, I guess when you read them, you know kind of the flow, you kind of mm -hmm. get a feeling, you know, at first glance kind of look, but my team would tell you when I, when I sat down and read it for one sitting, read it all the way you through. You read the script in one sitting. Um, and that speaks to obviously the uh, the impact that this, this movie's gonna have yeah. and for, for everybody who watches it in terms of, I was reading the, these words on a piece of paper and uh, I could visualize the journey of each character mm -hmm. knowing what, uh, uh, what John went through and the people, the community that was around him, um, yeah. how they were affected uh, positively in terms of uh, you know, just being touched and, and finding faith and finding things mm -hmm. to believe in and, and whatnot. And it was, uh, it was a cool experience for me to, to follow the journey uh, in script form, knowing uh, where this could go uh, as a project. Right. So um, in sending you the script and, and you reading it in the first sitting, what kept you turning the pages about this story? Mostly was uh, John's mom's faith, first and foremost, how bold she was mm -hmm. um, in terms of obviously when uh, she goes to the hospital and, and here's basically all the bad news that's being yeah. sent to her uh, about uh, the prognosis of, of her son's chance of living. Mm -hmm. um, she wasn't taking no for an answer because of her belief in God and knowing that uh, you know, he can do miracles and he can do powerful things. Mm -hmm. um, 
I was I, I was really drawn to that. I have a very strong mom as well who mm -hmm. instilled my faith in me, mm -hmm. so I could kind of connect to that as well. Cause my she mom was, did the same thing with, with the belt, though. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, there was a little bit of that. A little bit of that. I know that's not PC these days, but was a lot she's of like, you're going to get this faith in you. <laughs> I got a lot of that, a lot of prayer. My f kind of fun stories are growing up. Uh, I'd be asleep in my room, probably between like 10 and 12, 13 mm -hmm. years old, and you'd wake up to a, a hand on your forehead, and I'd hear whispering, and my mom was praying over me in my sleep. Wow. And like, when you have that happen, you don't know whether to wake up or like to <laughs> just say like anything. Just, I, 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 I know what's going on, so I'm just going to you know, stay quiet, stay still, and, right. <laughs> and understand what she's, uh, she's praying over my future and over wow. my, my well-being. But like, in terms of having a, a bold mo a mom that, mm. uh, that kind of instilled that faith in me sure. uh, for and, and planted the seed. Yeah. Um, obviously, I had to find that out for myself, but mm -hmm. um, I could connect with that you know, extremely well. Um, and yeah, it was just just a powerful testimony to to faith. Yeah, to be honest, and that's something that, uh, that I gravitated towards. And so you gravitated towards it. You put it down, and then you're like, okay, I'm in. I want to do this. It took one phone call with my team and they asked me, hey, how'd you like the script? And I'm pretty sure they were shocked at how uh, excited I was about yeah. it. Um, but yeah, try to find a way to uh, to latch on mm -hmm. um, and, and hopefully, uh, you know. Not latch on, man. You know Part what I partner mean. Up. Yeah. Partner up, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and find ways to, again, help use this story uh, to inspire. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, listen, when I got the call, I was like, what? <laughs> Are you serious? It was because cool because it was on the heels of our, our yeah. meeting at Fox. Yeah. And so um, I, I could tell by your energy and, and any projects that you get behind, there's got to be a good reason for it. Oh, and, yeah. and that we didn't talk about it before I read the script mm -hmm. or anything, but in terms of like knowing uh, who's behind you know, a project and understanding uh, full integrity in terms yeah. of bringing this to life, that was, I, I could get behind that. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what spoke to me was your desire to do faith your desire to do sports, and your desire to do family. Mm -hmm. And literally after that meeting, I'm like, well, I'm getting ready to make breakthrough. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, man? And speaking of teams, because you've mentioned it you know, quite a bit, uh, in the story, it, even though it was Joyce's prayer that you know, started, the, was the catalyst for John's recovery, it did take a team. You know, it took the pastor, it took the firefighters, it took the community you know, praying around John mm -hmm. and really rallying around his success. Um, why is teamwork so important to you? Because in your life, especially also in your profession, you seem to value that uh, almost more than what's good for you. It seems like you're asking what's good for the team. Why is teamwork so important to you? It's something that I've, I've always just appreciated in terms of, it's not always about me. It's not, it never really is about me. Mm -hmm. It's about, mm -hmm. obviously I, I know what I'm capable of and what I can bring to the table, but um, again, Nothing that you do in life, you do alone. Nothing sure. successful you do, I should say. That's true. Um, and it, having an appreciation for the value in others. Um, mm -hmm. I can learn something from the person next to me on my right or my left. They can challenge me, the, the sense of accountability. Mm -hmm. um, it's how you grow. Um, and, and for me, that's where you really make memories yeah. in terms of, I could do all this stuff by myself. If I have nobody to share it with and nobody to kind of go back and say, hey, look what we did, mm. I don't think there's any value in that. And yeah. so um, I've always had that perspective from middle, playing AAU baseball and basketball yeah. uh, all the way through now with, with, in, the in the NBA, really understanding that there's so much good in the collective. Sure. And I, I, I value everybody that, that's a part of that, that uh, equation to to, uh, to achieve success and achieve great things because again, when you, when you come together and you have a collective goal in mind, that journey is, is the best part about it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the part you talk yeah. about. You don't even talk about, hey, remember when we were on the podium and we were holding that trophy? It's like, no, nah, remember yeah. uh, all that work we put in the totally. offseason? Remember the, the five games we lost in a row and we had a, t you know, a players only meeting, we talked about it, we mm -hmm. figured out how to get through it. The ups and downs, all mm -hmm. that, that's the part that I, I really, that's the part, that's the stuff that you remember the mm -hmm. most. And so mm -hmm. for me, it's always been, I haven't had a, a hard time sacrificing for that. Right, right, right. Well, some do. So it's, it's definitely unique. And I think it's fascinating that, you know, your own personal belief in teamwork is mirrored so closely, you know, in the film. And that's also kind of what inspired, you know, for me to want to say, hey, Steph, let's do this. 
because I do believe it's about a team. I do believe, especially in this space, when it's about you know how do we get inspiration to the world? Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're stronger together than we are apart. Uh, and so I felt like on a film like this, you know, building a strong team, you know, between ourselves and our director Roxanne, our other executive producers, Pastor Sam Rodriguez and Chrissy and Topher and the whole cast, like, you know, let's stack the deck, uh, you know, for as much success as we can, so we can get a breakthrough. Exactly. <laughs> I like you know that. what I mean? I like that. Um, speaking of breakthroughs, like okay, so the movie's breakthrough, right? Yeah. So this, this is. I'm curious to see how, um, how you respond to this and what this feels like. There are a lot of people, you know, that may see this that um, are struggling in life and, and trying to go from where they are to you know where they want to be. Um, recently you you had a breakthrough performance on the court. 51 points, you know, I mean you know all the stats. What does it take to produce a breakthrough and how does it feel when you're in that moment? Uh, how much is in your control or out of your control? Oh, man, it takes patience um, and it takes a, a commitment to whatever the disciplines and so for me you talk about that game 51 points everything's clicking um all only thing i can think about in that moment one this is so much fun like i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy yeah. this but more so in that moment i think about the random wednesday morning at 6 30 a.m that i was running on a treadmill and threw up because i was exhausted and pushing myself to a limit that i really didn't know it's all about just the patience and the discipline to, to stay the course, mm -hmm. to have faith and belief in yourself mm -hmm. that eventually something's gonna happen, the door's gonna open, you're gonna be, mm -hmm. you'll be prepared to walk through it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and for me, like, I do remember the last three I made in that game we're talking about. I yeah. was doing this, I was yeah. having a good time. Literally in my head, right after that possession, I was thinking about that workout in the summer where I didn't want to be there. Um, wow. I could think of a hundred million things I, I could have mm -hmm. been doing otherwise, but I, I showed up there and that kind of kept me on the course. Mm, that's deep. What I love about what you're saying is that this idea of uh, habits and preparation and consistency. Mm -hmm. and there's a book uh, James Clear has out, man, if you ever read, you gotta read it. It's called Atomic Habits. Atomic about right. how small habits make big changes. And he talks about this idea that so many people, you know, wonder, okay, when's it gonna happen for me? Versus just create a system mm -hmm. that produces discipline and habits and your habits will take you everywhere you need to be. That's beautiful. You know, your habits That's the tough the in this generation too, especially when you see, like from social media perspective and everything, you see the end result. You see the a minute clip of me on the court doing all these crazy right. celebrations. Well, we don't see the throwing up. 100%. Don't see the process. Um, and you don't see how many uh, edits of the trailers you do <laughs> right, and, right. and uh, all the conversations you have yeah. around how breakthrough is supposed to come come to life mm -hmm. um, you see the finished product and so if there's if you can talk about it and understand like you I, like the habits and um, a consistency of, of your daily efforts that set yeah. you up for that success um, you, you can get there love that I love that I have a uh, quote that says uh, you and I are in control of only two things how we prepare for what might happen or how we respond to what just happened mm -hmm. when things happen that's up to God and so I love what you're saying in that it's about the preparation. You know, put yourself in a position to win and whatever is up to God, God's gonna do it. 100%. Same thing with Joyce. Before Joyce went in that emergency room, she was doing a women's Bible study mm -hmm. where they were studying Beth Moore's book about believing God. And what does it mean to believe God? What does it mean to take God at his word, that he is who he says he is and will do what he says he can do? So before she got in that emergency room, mm -hmm. she was already practicing breakthrough prayers. Mm -hmm. What role, you've been so vocal about your faith, what role does faith play on a day-to-day -day basis for you? Faith gives me um, the, the right perspective in terms of um, I could really tap into what the world says about me mm. and what uh, they, they, they value as, as what success means and things like that. And I'm on a continual journey of really understanding how to be a better human being, a better person, uh, no matter how many points I score sure. or whatever the case is. My faith allows me to stay focused on why I'm on this planet to begin with. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because if I were to listen to the noise and to continually feed into um, what is rewarded in this life mm -hmm. on earth, mm -hmm. material things or whatever, the fame, yeah. money, all that type of stuff, yeah. like I would be lost. And I mm -hmm. think for me, I understand that I'm on this on the, I have the, the skills that I've been given for a reason. I've been on, you know, I have this platform I have for a reason. And that's to shine light on, you know, who I am playing for on a daily basis. 
that's not about, I would say that's not about me. It's about yeah. Yeah. what that means in terms of what God's doing in my life Amen. through all these different things. And so, again, you know, we all know to whom much is given, much is required, much is required but no burden is too, is too tall, too yeah. heavy. Yeah. Um, and so for me, um, not, every, day is, every day is a challenge in terms sure. of continually to stay focused on things, get, being fed with the right things, staying mm-hmm. in the Word, mm-hmm. all those type of vibes. But um, again, I'm on this stage and this platform and I have these talents for a reason and I have wow. to shine light on, on that reason every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally understand it, man. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, you know, being here from the Bay, you know, when I decided you know, as a kid, hey, I want to go to entertainment, you know, it wasn't just about going to entertain, it was about how to do it, right. you know, and as a kid, you know, uh, I got baptized when I was, I think, 12 years old, and my intention was like, okay, how do I use faith to go where God wants me to be and do it? But to the point you just made, it's all about perspective, mm-hmm. uh, because as you're in, you know, whatever profession or living life, it's so easy to get distracted. Uh, it's so easy to focus on things that, you know, really aren't the things. So you're right about faith being an anchor mm-hmm. and really keeping us where God wants us to be mm-hmm. and how he wants us to be. I'm mm-hmm. um, speaking of which, in terms of how God wants us to be. You know, one of the things that I think is fascinating about the film is, you know, by the time you get to the end of it, you know, everyone says, you know, they're crying all, all right. the way through. <laughs> um, you know, it's a Kleenex and a popcorn film. So um, what do you think audiences will take away from this movie? I think first, no matter kind of where you come from, no matter you know, what your, your faith or what your experience in faith is or who you believe in or whatever, there's somebody in this movie that you can relate to. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Again, is is it a, a, an emotional tearjerker or something yeah. that you're going you're gonna to be touched, you're going to yeah. uh, be moved by obviously John's story in terms of in, 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 in his comeback and, and yeah. the miracle that, that takes place, but the depth of, of how his story affects his community around him, um, I feel like it will resonate in terms of, you know, whatever's going on in your personal yeah. life, it might not be as catastrophic as something that, mm-hmm. that John's going through, but there's something that can test, that's testing your faith that uh, this movie will hopefully inspire you to, to get and stay the course, to have that belief, um, rally around people, you know, that, that are in your corner. Yeah. Um, and just believe, man. I think that's the power in the community and power in faith is, is strong. And it's something that this world needs all through and through right uh, with the chaos that's going on in our world. So Amen. Um, you'll be moved by this by this movie. Mm. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Yeah, man, man. Appreciate you, man. No problem, Devon. Right on. That's right it. on.